Meghan goes deranged. Queen firmly abandoned Archie's christening to teach Sussex's a painful lesson. The Queen seemingly sent a message to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle through her absence. The Queen's absence from Archie's christening is said to have a deeper reason involving Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The event took place at a private chapel in Windsor Castle when Archie was just two months old. Christenings are considered to be an important event with all senior members of the royal family attending the symbolic ceremony. In the photos that were released royal fans could not help but notice that the Queen and Prince Philip, Archie's great-grandparents, were absent from the event. It was officially revealed that their absence was due to prior commitment. However the book Royals at War, the untold story of Harry and Meghan's shocking split with the House of Windsor, which was released in 2020, claimed that the monarch was sending an explicit message to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex by not attending. Pointedly, the Queen and Prince Philip stayed away. They had been generous and understanding at their best. But they simply now felt publicly embarrassed by Meghan's controlling behavior, said a well-placed palace insider. Meanwhile, in Knight's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, said the royal family had decided not to bestow a title on their son Archie. She said she was never given a reason why the first member of color in this family, was, not being titled in the same way that other grandchildren would be, and she said there were conversations around the same time about how dark Archie's skin would be. Meghan cited a convention that the grandchildren of the monarch are titled prince or princess. When Archie was born, Harry and Meghan announced his name as Archie Mountbatten Windsor, the surname used by the royal family. But, as Meghan pointed out in the interview, Archie and the baby girl they're expecting this summer would be entitled to become prince and princess when Harry's father, Prince Charles, becomes king. Even with that convention I'm talking about, while I was pregnant, they said they wanted to change the convention for Archie. Well why? Meghan said. She said she was never given an answer. Meghan told Oprah that Archie's title was not her or Harry's decision to make, but rather that is their birthright to then make a choice about. Meghan said the conversation they had with palace officials about the level of security they would receive was also tied to whether or not Archie would be a prince. She said it was the security protection, not the royal status, she really cared about. Meghan said they were not asked to take the traditional photo of front of the hospital after Archie was born because he wouldn't be a prince. Around the same time, when she was still pregnant, she said there were also conversations going on in the royal family about how dark Archie's skin would be. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were among the guests at Archie's christening, along with Prince Charles, Duchess Camilla, Lady Jane Fellows, Lady Sarah McCorkadale and Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland. Meghan's father, Thomas Markle, recently opened up about his absence from Archie's christening. Thomas told the Mail, I have been asked if I would have liked to have gone to Britain to see my new grandson being christened, I was an altar boy at age 12, a confirmed member of the Queen's Church at age 14, and Archie is my new grandson, so of course, I would have enjoyed being there for the blessing, wishing Archie and his parents health and happiness. Jobson told Sunrise that it was likely he was making a jab at his ex-wife, Doria. What he said wasn't too bad except for I think he was having a little bit of a dig at his ex-wife Doria, because he is saying that he has been a member of the Anglican Church all his life, I think when he married Doria it was in some sort yogi ceremony or something like that, I think he was having a little bit of a dig there saying why shouldn't I be there, said Jobson.